Hey guys, we're out here in the uh, on the sugar cane patches, and uh, we're doing some maintenance. We've we mowed yesterday, mowed the grass, and today we're going back with the weed eaters and cleaning up the edges. Um, the mowers can only get so close, so we're going in and doing a little detailed work to knock back the grasses and uh, doing some leaf stripping also. So you can see these two rows have been stripped. This one hasn't. You can see all the, the leaves in the lane there. But when you do leaf stripping, you start to get, uh, as they start to show some cane and stalk, we come in to remove the bottom leaves. Um, if we can, like, this is a high, high intense way to do it. Um, this is not how a commercial cane farmers that grow crystal cane for sugar do it, but this is how you grow like a premium uh, straight stalk um, cane. We don't have, this is a small little planting, so uh, it's high intensity and we're trying to maximize it. So we're doing a lot of manual stripping weed eating and uh, then we'll come back and do um a little uh organic fertilizer but you can see there's some mealy bug behind and behind the leaves um they won't like it now that they're exposed to the sun so it it gets rid of the mealy bug fire ants um all these bottom leaves have a uh, disease on them, a little rust when they start to hang down low in the grass. Um, and we get humidity and water and splashing. The leaf diseases start to build on them. I'll have to go to an area where we haven't stripped to show you. But the, um, the old leaves have disease on them and they're good. it's good to remove them. That's an organic way to do um, uh, sorry, disease control without using fungicides and stuff. So this is uh, this is a row we haven't done. This is a row we haven't done, but you can see if you look kind of closely, these have more yellow leaves. There's older leaves that hang down. And this one doesn't as much. This is a San Diego yellow. This is a Don Cinco. San Diego yellow seems to have just a touch more disease resistance to the rust. Um, it's not completely immune. This is what I'm talking about. Some of these diseases and imperfections in the leaves. You know, the newest leaves won't really have them. They're real clean. Um, as they get older and the humidity and they get closer to the ground where they're splashing, they'll get leaf disease. Um, so it's good to open this up, get a little airflow. It's one way we can, you know, keep our quality of cane real high. Um, it's a labor intensive crop, you know, uh, people wonder, you know, why so much for a stalk of sugar cane will. There's a lot of different steps that go into making a high quality organic cane um, that's got, you know, the attributes you want. So, <clears throat> sorry. Once we strip these leaves, we'll rake them out of here. Um, it's best to burn them, you know, it just gets rid of that disease. It gets it out of this area and we keep it mowed. But this is the initial kind of like lifting of the skirts, if you will, of the plants, removing the dead young little leaves. And, you know, it's it's got the diameter of the cane set and it's starting to, you know, just put on mass at this point and height. So it's taken, you know, we planted this field in October. So and we had a nice wet winter we irrigated so it's coming on you know at the top of 
the leaves on these things are six, seven foot, maybe even eight foot on that one section over there right now, but they're rapidly developing and you gotta stay on top of them to have, you know, nice quality canes. But you wanna limit the competition, limit the, the weeds, and limit the leaf diseases, get those out of the way, give them a little more fertilizer. We kinda just slowly put fertilizer on them because we get such heavy rains, it could wash it away. So we don't just rely on one application, we just, Kind of every couple months put a little bit on there and uh that's what we're doing like this this is a variety that has a little more disease it's a little more disease prone um it's an old heirloom it's a variegated cane you can see that variegation but uh this is kabarangi if you know the varieties but um, it, it's got some disease rust issues. So that, you know, that's the difference. You can kind of see there's more brown down there versus here. So there are slight differences between all these varieties. Um, but when you scale up, it makes a big difference. But if you're just collecting different ones, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but, um, or if you live in a drier climate, you know, we're getting monsoon rains almost every day, every other day. And the grass is growing. You can hear the neighbors mowing. So you have to mow between the rainstorms here. And uh, we're just, we got an overcast day today and we're taking advantage of uh, cleaning up the cane. So that's it for now. Just wanted to give you an update of the cane do your leaf stripping, do your mowing, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.